morning? Has been has the last twelve hours been for you? Oh, it was rough. You know, it's it's hard when you start this experience. You don't ever you don't ever think it's gonna end, especially being inside of the house. You think that uh that's your house forever. You think you live there. You think you're gonna continue to get free groceries. Uh, and you think that that's what it is. But um, obviously, you know, I'm taking it all in uh at a time and just just doing nothing but reflecting and uh just being appreciative of being even uh of being able to have this opportunity. I'm glad to hear that. Um, what do you think? Let's just dive right in. What do you think was like your biggest downfall? Do you think it was one thing? Do you think it was a bunch of little things? Like, where do you think your game went wrong? Um, I really think my game went wrong by not trusting my gut feeling and uh making certain moves. I feel like right now there's one specific move that I could reflect back on to think like, hey, if I just tweak this a little different, um, I possibly would still be in the house. Right now. <laughs> Excuse me, I possibly still be in the house right now. Which one was that? Um, when I re, uh, when I replaced Cameron as a nominee, uh, on my HOH, um, this past one, um, I feel as if, if I would have kept Cameron in the house, not only would I have somebody who would have been, uh, able to help and protect me, um, but I also, uh, would have been able to kind of break up that whole little alliance between Corey America, Jag and that. Yeah, it's tough. Once you, once you and Corey weren't on the same page, I guess Cameron would have been a good option, but yeah, it's yeah. 2020. Um, exactly. You, I know you broke down talking about your mom. You guys came in this house together. She's a survivor legend. She's a traders winner. What conversations did you guys have before the game about, okay, how much are we going to tell people? And did you play out scenarios if, for example, Izzy or somebody found out that you guys were related or mother and son? So, no. Um, I guess this was, it speaks to how naive we were coming in. We just figured, hey, we'll figure it out when we get there. And we knew, uh, we, we were going to try to keep that a secret as long as possible. That was pretty much the obvious thing for us. And that was pretty much the only thing we discussed. We knew that there was obviously going to be a, 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 a possibility of somebody saying, hey, we know who you are. And uh, we just figured, you know, it all depends on who that person is and how we can navigate that person and maneuver around whatever they think they know or whatever they do know. And um, obviously, Izzy was one of those people who was just like, nah, you ain't going to get this one around me. I know exactly who both of y'all are, um, but she very early on, I mean, pretty much the same day when she discovered that, told us, you know, I got y'all back. Y'all got mine. And uh, that's when we kind of formed that bond with her and was like, listen, regardless of what happens, we got you. and We'll go to the end with you, even if it's to the detriment of both of our games. Yeah. Do you. So would you say having your mom in the game helped or hurt your game more? Just your game. Uh, just personally, I think it was like a 50 50 thing because going into this house, it's one thing it's one thing to be, uh, you know, to make relationships. And I, I knew that I would be able to make relationships regardless. But it's another it's a whole nother ball game to have someone in that house that, you know, regardless of what said was done. Uh, they got your back 100 percent. So that was really good going into the house. And that was an advantage having that in the house. But to the contrary, that it's also um, we weren't able to be on the same side. Almost almost immediately we got put on two different sides of the house. And uh, I was always saw as one of the, my side was always saw as like, hey, this is the side of all the competitors. And her side was, hey, this is side, this is the side of all the people who are really good at the social aspect of the game. And um, very early on, people were already consider her, considering her as a target. And I'm just like, ah, uh, this is going to be a hard angle for me to work because obviously I can't tell people why I want to protect her. You know, having other, other alliances in this house, it was easy to say, hey, you know, this is my alliance. I don't want you to go after them. But with Sari, people were like, hey, you guys don't even speak. And for whatever reason, you want to protect her. And I really didn't want people to start catching on. So it, it made that game really hard for me, for sure. Yeah. And speaking of relationships and catching on, obviously you and Blue got close in the house. Where yeah. do you see this going outside the house? And can you just clear up, like, do you have a girlfriend outside the house? Or are you guys, yeah. what's the deal with that? Yeah, so it's funny that this is something that got misconstrued here. Um, I was really adamant and really open and honest with Blue about my situation outside of the house. And I told her I just got out of a really long term relationship being seven years. Um, and I told her that it was really fresh. You know, me and me and my ex-girlfriend broke up pretty much about like right about a month before I moving into the house. And um, I was very open, like I said, with Blue about this and let her know that it was something that I was dealing with. And uh, after leaving a relationship like that, for having so much time with somebody regardless, it's, it's going to be tough to move on. And uh, I told myself coming into this house, I'm like, hey, I'm not going to get into any showmances because I know that I'll be still dealing with a breakup and uh, going through the, the trials and tribulations of the aftermath of a, such a long breakup. But um, 
I was able to confide in Blue with that information and she really helped me get through it. And she was also just recently going through a breakup of four years also. So it was one of those things where we really connected on. It was like, hey, you know, we got each other. As long as we're here, we're here and we'll figure out the rest later. And it's going to be tough. It's not going to be easy at all because at any point we both may revert back to thinking about our person or who we just came from or thinking of, hey, we want this situation to be like our last situation. But uh, we both were able to just see each other as completely separate. And we didn't think, uh, she said the same thing to me. She said, hey, I, I was not planning on doing this. And uh, I think it just speaks to uh, us just clicking with each other. And that's just something we couldn't hide. Okay. Um, I know we don't have much more time. I do want to quickly ask, because I know you've been asked this morning, in terms of the comments that you made, I won't even repeat them because I'm, again, I know you've been asked about this, but yeah, for- but now that you're out of the game, do you plan on watching back? Do you plan on reflecting about some of the things you might said that you might regret? Oh, yeah, for sure. I immediately started reflecting on a lot of things that I said. I'm one of those people who really understand uh, the intent versus the impact. And regardless of uh, how I may have felt in the moment, uh, some of the things that I said is just not okay in any world. And uh, it's not something that uh, I have space for in my life moving forward. And I really just wanted to get ahead of that and just let people know that that's something that I definitely apologize for. And that I automatically, like I said, regardless of being in the game or outside of the game, it's something that I reflect on and make sure to work on for myself personally moving forward. I'm glad to hear that. Um, Cameron won HOH. What's your reaction to that? My dog. <laughs> Go, baby. Uh, Cameron, Cameron like to stir things up in the house. And although sometimes those things were aimed at my people, being my mom and Izzy, um, now that I'm gone and I and I, I really got some faith that he's not gonna be going after my mom. Uh, I'm excited to see what Cameron does with his HOH because he like to have some fun and uh I'm just so excited for him because, like I, like I said, at the end of the day, I can respect that he beat me fair and square. I'm not bitter or salty about it at any mean, by any means necessary. So I'm super happy for him, and I truly think he deserves it. Rather it was me or him staying in this house, I knew that one of us was going to be back in that HOH room, and um, I'm glad to see that it's him. Yeah, real quick, it's it's funny you're saying this about Cameron. I know you and Corey started off really good and kind of yeah. like falling out. Where do you yeah. think you guys are going to stand once you're outside the game? Hey, I gave him the name Corey Skeezy for a reason. Corey's always going to be like a little brother to me, whether he likes it or not. Uh, I love Corey to death. And regardless of what happened inside of this game, I'm completely I'm completely over it and able to look past it. And uh, I can't wait to party with Corey and his offbeat claps outside of here. So it's my dog. And and Jared, you I know you wanted. I, are you interested in playing Big Brother again? Or are you interested in Survivor? Like, were you ever trying to get on Survivor? What was the deal with that? Hey, um. I'm interested on whatever comes my way. I was able to prove to myself that I'm able to play these games and uh, whatever is thrown at me, I think I'll take it on in full stride and uh, try to do the best I can. And regardless of what it is, I would, I really hope to be back in that house one day, but if it's me back on the Island trying to, you know, reciprocate what my mom's been putting out there and try to do it a little bit better. Hey, then that's what it is. I'm, I'm down for both. Yeah. Do you think, um, did, were you, yeah, <laughs> I'm wrapping up. Did you, um, did you feel pressure to go in there and play your own game and be like, okay, I need to make my own legacy away from my mom. But were you also like trying to impress her? Like what, tell me about just playing with your mom real quick. Yes, for sure. Um, Going in there, I was telling her like, Hey, I'm going to be doing my own thing. So, you know, you mom on the outside of this, but you serene here. So you can't be telling me what to do. And I got to make my own moves. And I don't want to leave this game feeling as if everything I did was through your voice. So uh, that was a conversation we had very early on. And uh, I think she really respected that. And uh, it was so good to hear her just say, hey, I'm so proud of you as a player. And just to see you being a player and me not being able to influence everything that you did just made her so happy. So that was a compliment. So 